If you look at these two rackets, do you see any difference? The racket on the left is the one actually used by Ale Galan and the one on the right is the racket that is sold to the public. In case someone is not able to find the differences, let's go back in time a little bit. Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new 4 set. 2021 season, Adidas Paddle releases the Metal Bond, the new Ale Galan's racket. The main innovation of the new racket were the screws, a new mechanism to be able to modify the balance. Other innovation was the sandy rough on the racket. But in fact, Ale Galan explained everything on this video. Os voy a presentar mi pala 2021, la Metal Bond. Mi pala tiene un formato de ataque, con el punto dulce y el balance bien alto para que me ayude a la hora de atacar con la pegada, las víboras o todo mi juego de ataque. Tiene el octógono de structure, lo que le da rigidez a la pala y me ayuda a aprovechar toda mi potencia. Tiene el nuevo Spin Blade, este rugoso me ayuda a todos los golpes de efecto para sentir bien la bola como se agarra. Tiene la fibra Carbon Aluminized, solo con el patrón que mantiene la Metal Bond y la goma soft me añade confort a la pala. Lo que más llama la atención de mi pala es el Weight and Balance System. ¿Cómo funciona? Pues si le dejamos los tornillos, son 12 gramos en total que se añaden en confort y control a la pala porque el balance está un poquito más abajo. Si se los quitamos, le añadimos el balance y el peso se quedaría arriba por lo que tendríamos un poquito más de aceleración en la pala. But now if we look at some pictures of the 2021 season, can you find any difference? The rubber used by Galan in competition was black and the roughness of the racket was different. Galan didn't use the screws either because he's a really offensive player and he wants the balance of his racket to the top. In the middle of the 2021 season, Adidas Paddle released the most expensive paddle racket on its history. The new Adidas Metal Bomb Master LTD priced at 415 euros. But pay attention because whoever subscribes to the channel today in the next match will be able to smash like Galan. Well, the racket that we were talking about it was a special edition that Galan was going to use only in master category tournaments of the World Padel Tour. But what was different about this racket? Well, actually the only difference was the design because all the rest was the same than the standard metal bone. But now, try to guess what happened with the one used by Alejandro Galán on competition. Well, Ale decided to change the rubber and the rough surface as you can see in this picture. 2021 was over and 2022 arrived with two new metal bones, the new metal bone standard and the new metal bone HRD. The only design difference between both rackets is that the metal bone HRD has a black line at the bottom of the racket and the standard metal bone has a red one. But the main performance difference between both rackets is that the HRD incorporates a harder rubber which a priori is the one that Galan should use for his playing style. However, since the 2022 season started, we only have been able to see Galan using the standard metal bone. But the question is, is that racket the standard metal bone? Let's take a look at the same video you saw at the beginning of the video and see if you can identify more difference. Although it is the standard metal bone, the rubber is not white. And it's funny because the racket that you saw is the one that Galan bring to the press conference in the Premier Padel in Qatar. But the one he played with was this other one. Well, it's easy to notice that Ali didn't play with the screws. If any of you is wondering how many over grips uses Galan on his racket, he tells you in this video. Mi metal bone siempre tiene 380 gramos más o menos de base. Le quito el grip inicial y le pongo dos over grip que sumarán 8 gramos cada uno y eso es todo. His Adidas racket is delivered to him in 380 grams, but by removing the standard overgrips and putting two overgrips, it will be approximately 388 grams. That makes Galang one of the players with the heaviest racket on the circuit, that means more power but more strength required. But if you thought that this year Adidas Paddle is not gonna launch a new special edition of Alex Galang new racket, you are wrong. The new Metal Bomb Master LTD was presented on an event in Emirates Paddle in Abu Dhabi. And the first unit of this limited edition was sold for $4,500. Mabrur! <laughs>
Will Galan modify something from this new racket or he will play with the same that is sold at the stores? Leave your opinion at the comments and see you in the next video. Ciao!